Now I saw the second Zeitgeist film first. Then I saw the third one. Now I'm going to see the original one in 2007. I already saw the whole thing. And there's only one critique I have because of banking and everything. I don't study enough Austrian economics. Quite frankly, if I did, then I would be considered one of their individualist opponents or guys that are pushing for this negative status quo that we've been dealing with. So that could be a blessing and a curse. Therefore, this is probably going to be my last Zeitgeist heist, my finale. I'm going to make it as long as I can. I'm not going to extend it. I'm going to say stupid shit like this just to make sure this thing lasts. Now, out of all of this shit, the big thing is dissing on the Dark Ages and calling Christianity a Roman social control. Well, that's kind of interesting now. You see, when I watched this, and I started listening to the whole astrology thing, well, I knew a lot about astrology before, and I knew about all these contexts, except for, I knew about the ages, the Aquarius age, the age of the Taurus. Yeah, I didn't know the measurements for them. And quite frankly, uh, I really do hope if there is such thing as a reincarnation that I come back at the age of the Scorpio. Why? Well, I'm a Tar, so I want to see how much damage I can do over there. So don't bring me back immediately. Bring me back at that time. Trust me, I'm going to really fuck up the world. Okay. Now, when you diss on the Dark Ages, you're doing a common historical fallacy, which is equating the Dark Ages to this time of great exploitation and tyranny from these hierarchies created by serfdom and even the Crusades and the monarchs. Although, despite the fact that there's little to no statism around that time, especially the early Dark Ages, and despite the fact that there are the monarchs, this is as close as we can get to minarchy. I repeat, this is as close as we can ever get to minarchy. The only way it would be anarchy in my eyes is if the monarchs and the serfs would leave as soon as the land was developed and they would only have a share of the personal ownership. That's the only way I could ever see it as being something that's, I'd say, hmm, as being completely anarchist. And they, yeah, the monarchs did the same thing too, and even the churches. I digress. And because of this period of minarchy, you can know that if you actually look at the real crusade history, past all the myths, you would see that it's actually a pleasant time. You, you're treated a lot nicer than they say you are, and oftentimes it's a contrast. Because you see, the Renaissance there was, was heavily, I'd say, romanticized. I do like learning about Renaissance history, despite the fact that it's romanticized, it's not as great as people said it was, and it still has to deal with a lot of bullshit. A lot more than people say it is, contrast to the Dark Ages, where it's a lot more pleasant, and think about it. It's the age of minarchy, and at the moment, I'm leaning towards minarchy and how we're going to progress from our current bullshit to a time where there's less bullshit. Why? Well, think about it. The closest we can get at the moment is minarchy, then we can get anarchy. So we need a progression up there. And I might make a video about this in the future. In fact, you might consider this a setup for that video in the near future. 
Now, Christianity is a Roman social control. I'd hate to tell you this, Fresco. I'd hate to tell you this, Peter Joseph. I'd hate to tell you this, Venus Project. I'd hate to tell you this, the whole Zeitgeist movement, but... You're taking part in that. Why? Because you're, as Arini said, supporting more quality, more of all these values that have been pushed for by Christianity and by Rome as a social control. And I can see it in your entire documentaries that you're actually pushing for a Christianity devoid of biblical texts. It's true. There's no denying it. They're pushing for all the values of, that have been pushed for and altered and revolutionized and revamped and altered and reformed and... Uh, hmm, what's that word I'm looking for? Amended by Christianity from generation to generation. Therefore, Fresco, and I can tell by the way you speak, that you're actually pushing for another church of Christianity. You have a problem with that? Well, I don't know what to tell you. It sucks to be you. <sighs> and it's embarrassing, man, because last video I was going to go easy and respect you, but now that I think about it, All I can say about this entire Zeitgeist film is it, it's mostly about the collectivization of mankind and society, which is something I have no problem with, despite having more individualistic leanings. And even then, I don't glorify nor damn any other. But now I realize why you identify problems that are actually there, like the infinite hierarchies, the political system, but then you put the sole blame on something else, you put the sole blame on personal property, which you call private property, I consider that a tremendous failure, and so much other stuff. It's because... And I hate to psychologize, but there's this thing with most conspiracy theories. And I know in the third film, Joseph was narrating that, oh, wow, someone hating on a conspiracy theory, that's so bright. Do I know who's the fault of it? It's the expert's fault. It's the fault of all the experts that tell you that have messed up society. The guys who've been studying, the guys who have claimed that they have an education, that they have the responsibility to rule the world, that they have all the ideas and all the concepts to make it a better place. And why aren't you just following me? But then all of a sudden, here comes the big problem. Once they get that responsibility, once they get that voice to become that very expert, what they're saying oftentimes is part of the reason why we're here in this moment, why we're dealing with all this bullshit, why we're dealing with all this institutional fail, as Fringe Element said. It's because you can't man up to the own failures you've made. It's because you can't man up to the irresponsibility that you've created for yourself. And oftentimes I feel like that's the greatest turnoff to any movement. The inability to see your own mistakes, your own cause in this. That's why I found the ending to the third movie to be ridiculous. Huh? They're all just throwing their money at Wall Street, which is kind of going on right now. You fail to realize that these are the kind of people that just because of experts like you have been duped have been duped into feeling that they can't man up to their own irresponsibilities that they have to call their senate that they have to call this and that and what's happening on wall street right now are they dumping their money of course not they won't 
And if they do, it'd be a pretty damn small movement. Why? Because these people, because of you guys, because of guys like you, all around the world, the experts, they don't feel accountable to their own responsibilities. I myself have some small blame. I'm only 16, but I have a small blame for what's been escalating and snowballing in this moment. It's because of shit I say that we're dealing with the, was bullshit. It's because of shit I do that we can't man up to our own responsibilities that we're snowballing to this predicament to these infinite hierarchies and these unstoppable archons and you know what until you can man up to your own res irresponsibilities until you can man up to the fact that hey you know what it might not even be the personal incentive or profit motive or personal property or individualism or all this other shit this self-interest that's the problem maybe it's the fact that we've created this relationship centered around somebody else instead of taking responsibility for ourselves because that's what creates the hierarchy essentially you're centering everything on a nexus an archon, an authority, a ruler. Because you don't feel like you have something to blame. And until you can do that, no Mises Institute, no Chicago School, no Zeitgeist Movement, no political uh, building, no institution of yada 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 can ever be pushing forth the wrong, right ideas or even the slightly wrong ideas why because they'll be busy blaming somebody else pointing the finger instead of identifying their own mistakes and thus they're not even creating a cycle a vicious cycle to tear us apart what they're doing is they're just escalating and snowballing us past any hope of ever improving that's something I find disgusting and I can't even look at this camera without the disgust that I've been seeing in these stream to movies I've done four parts and you can tell at the end of part four that I was gonna be gentle and try to find out something that would have pissed me off, but I didn't know exactly what was wrong. Well, I know what's wrong now. Basically, this whole movement is based upon a 97-year-old old man who feels that, really, he's not the cause of all of this. And he's right, he's not the cause, but he is part of it. The monetary system is just one institution that's fucked up. And it's not the center to all of this. It's almost ridiculous how all these new ideas and starting from scratch, building a new economic theory, contrary to the ones of Smith and all of this other shit, how this has all led to the same answer again and again and again. It's their fault. Well, fuck them. Fuck you guys. And fuck it, guys. This has been Mr. Wonka 7. And suck my dick.